Today's session is super windy outside, so I'm going to do a voiceover for it now. We've got a couple of different uh, elements that we're going to concentrate on today. We're going to look at our balance and our coordination. We're also going to work our hip mobility whilst working balance and coordination. So there's lots happening together. You won't be thinking about all these things together. You'll just be moving. So right now, as you're listening to this, I want you to start moving. Nice, easy walk. We're also going to be putting a little bit of emphasis on RPE or rate of perceived exertion. And what that means is we're going to start listening to our bodies. We're going to start looking at our breathing and asking ourselves how hard we're working. Now, if you're just listening to this session, there's going to be one or two points where you might need to listen to instruction very, very carefully because I'm going to be quite precise with what I'm asking you to do. So do listen hard. If you need to look at the screen at any point, please stop. Make sure that you're in a safe position, that you're out of traffic and that you are well seen on the road, on the footpath, wherever it is you're running. Guys, have a wonderful session. And as always, if you enjoy the session, if you engage in the session, please do share your efforts Tag me in them at fionaodonald.ie if it's on Instagram and let me know how you're going. Take a photo of your run route. Take a photo of yourself and your friends if you have engaged them with you. And uh, let's get started. Let's get started. So again, if you're going to be watching this, it's fairly boring viewing, guys. But I want you to get started by walking and swinging the arms a little bit to elevate the heart rate. So up to this point now, you should be out walking for about two minutes. And what I want you to try and recognize here is how does it feel in your body? On a scale of one to 10, one being you're lying back on the couch resting and completely relaxed, 10 being you're gonna keel over <laughs> because you're going so fast and you can't sustain it. Uh, where are you on that scale? Like your initial walk, you should be about a two. And then I want you to elevate it to about a three. So just bringing your pace up a little bit so you feel like you're just working a little bit. You couldn't even call it hard, but you're just working a little bit. So we're just trying to elevate your heart rate above your baseline. We're trying to warm up the muscles in the legs, warm up the hips, warm up your core, warm up the shoulders, every element of your body. You can roll forward from heel to toe, warming up the calf muscles. And I want you to think about your posture here now. Okay, I want you to think about keeping your body up tall. Try not to slouch. Okay, I've got a swagger here now. If you're just listening to this in the background, I'm actually mortified at my own video, but that's okay. Um, we'll get over it. I'm just warming up in my driveway. No one can see me except all you guys. So again, swinging the arms and just moving the pace up a little bit. So when I turn at the gates, we'll have done a nice warm up, just gradually getting faster. And we're going to go back to our A walk. So if you remember the A walk from the last day, we're bringing the knees up to hip height, landing the foot down underneath our hip. We are going to start about here now. You can see me looking at my watch. OK, so lifting the knees up to about hip height, pulling the toes up towards the sky so that we're engaging through the length of the leg and through the core. And we want to do about 10 reps on each leg. Now, I'm not including my arms right now, but we will include our arms in a moment because we're gonna use alternating arms and legs. So every time you raise your left leg, you're gonna be using your right arm and vice versa. And we're back to a walk. We're gonna continue walking for a few strides just to give ourselves and our hip flexors a little bit of a rest. And now we're going to start again. So starting with one leg and the opposite arm. So again, if you're confused about this, you can have a quick look at the video. I'm doing it nice and slowly. You'll be able to see the opposite leg and the opposite arm rising. We're going to do 10 reps on each side. Guys, the focus on this exercise is not speed. We're not speeding through it. It's on balance. So I want you to think about your foot position on the ground, making sure that you've got good balance in the foot. We're doing it nice and slowly in a controlled fashion, 10 reps on each leg. Once we've finished that, we're back to a walk. We're still recovering here. When we turn this time, we're going to keep doing our A walk, 
but we're going to add a skip into it. So we're adding in a little progression. Now, what I want you to think about is starting slow, adding a skip, lifting one leg and you're skipping once or just giving a tiny bounce on the leg that's on the floor. And now we're just gonna bring a little bit more motion into it. So still doing that walk, the knee is still coming up to hip height, the toes are still being pulled up to the sky, opposite arm, opposite leg, but this time there's just a little bit of a skip going through. This takes a bit of coordination. And we're landing the foot back down to the ground and continuing our walk just to ease out of that for a moment. Okay, so turning to the side. Now, this is starting us off on like a grapevine movement or a karaoke movement. And we're just going to sidestep for now. Leading with one leg and then we're going to change direction. So you can either come back in the opposite direction. So you're leading with the opposite leg or you can keep going forward and just turn your body around so that you're leading with the opposite leg. Shift back into a walk. So we're going to do that again in a moment and we're going to go and do about 10 on each side. And again, what we're doing here. OK, so let's turn to the side and we're going to pick up the pace a little bit. So almost like a slow skip to the sides. Again, we're working here on coordination so you can change sides now. If you look at the video, you'll see that we're just kind of skipping side to side and back to a walk. What we're doing here is warming up the muscles at the sides of the legs and again working our balance working our coordination let's do that again so leading with one side and we're skipping from foot to foot 10 reps in one direction and swap sides 10 in the opposite direction and back to a walk Again, I want you to think about what's happening with your heart rate. What's happening with your breathing? How does it feel? Does it feel really easy? Or did that feel a little bit difficult? On a scale of one to 10, where would you place your effort level? We're going to progress this drill to something called a grapevine. If you did aerobics in the 80s, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you have no idea, it would be a really good idea to watch. So we're stepping out, we're crossing one leg over the other to the front and then the back. So you'll see here, we're going back with one leg, stepping out and crossing over with the other leg. Let's give it a go. So stepping out, stepping back, out, forward, out, back. And essentially what we're doing is we're stepping to the side and just crossing our legs over one another. And the benefit this has is it makes us work our brains. We really have to coordinate our steps. We're going to change direction here now. We really have to feel that coordination. Stepping from side to side and crossing one leg over the front, then one leg over the back. It's working our balance and it's mobilizing our hips. So this exercise or this drill really gets everything moving, changing direction and let's pick up the pace. Again, doing about 10 reps on either side. Let's change direction again. Moving into our next drill, sea walk. So that knee is coming up to hip height and then we're rotating it outwards. Again, toes pointed towards the sky knee comes up to 90 degrees and out. So we're just getting those rotations in the hip. Walking here now just to recover for a moment. And this time we're going to change direction. So the knee is coming out and up and into the center. You can put your arms out to the side like I'm doing, if you like, for a little bit of balance. So this really does throw you off your balance a little bit and challenges the balance. And it's great to do this while we're moving. That's my dog groaning in the background. Apologies. As you can see, they feature heavily in everything I do. Back to a walk here, guys. 
little bit of an intermission here now with our video. So we're going to move into our main running set. So just walk for a moment and I'm going to talk you through it. Over the next few intervals, I'm going to be asking you to mark your finish point. And there's a reason behind this. We're going to do this session on a loop. So pay close attention. Let's start jogging nice and easy. We're going to jog for 30 seconds. So I'm going to tell you just to keep going. I'm going to ask you at a certain point to start walking. And when I ask you to walk, I want you to pay attention to how far you've gotten in 30 seconds. In about eight seconds, I'm going to ask you to come back to a walk. I want you to pay attention to where you have stopped and walk here. And I want you to turn around and walk back to your start point. This walk is going to be your recovery period. So it doesn't matter how long it takes you. I want you to walk back to your starting point And from there, we're going to go again. You get to decide how quickly you walk. You get to decide how slowly you walk. And essentially, walking back to your start point is your way of controlling your own recovery. So during this phase, what I want you to do now for the next set, you'll see I've taken off my jumper if you're watching the video. I want you to push the pace a little bit more. So if that was nice and easy, I want you to work a little bit harder this time. And let's jog. Now this time, I want you to get beyond and where you finished up last time. So I want you to keep going farther if you can. Now, because I'm on a loop, I'm actually going to end up a little bit closer to the start point than I did a moment ago. But the whole idea here is that if your last set was a three or a four out of 10 on the RPE scale, this set should be a four or a five. And we are coming back to a walk now. So you should have gotten a few steps farther, not a whole load, but a few steps farther than you got the last time. You're going to turn and you're going to walk back to where you started again. So I'm kind of pushing myself a little bit here and I'm not taking the brakes. I'm, I'm not putting the brakes on completely for my recovery. I'm doing what we call an active recovery, swinging the arms and pushing myself to get back to the start line. Okay, I'm gonna start into my third set here now, I'm jogging again. If you're not back to your start point yet, you can pause the video and wait until you are before you hit play again. Now, my aim here, this is called a pyramid session, so we're getting faster for every one. My aim here is to be a five or a six out of 10. I want to feel like I'm working a little bit harder. I want to feel like I'm pushing my pace, I'm pushing my effort, and my breathing is going to get more labored. I should bypass my previous stop point, and now I'm coming back to a walk. That's great work, guys. And from here, we're walking back once again to the start point. Now, what I'm going to suggest you do is just be very conscious here of your breathing, breathing through the nose, out through the mouth. You should have been pushing harder there. In about three seconds, I'm going to be asking you to start your next interval. If you're not back at your start point yet, please pause the video. OK, let's go. This time we're going to come back down in pace. So about a four or a five, let's say a five out of ten. You should be working a little bit hard, but you could probably continue this pace for a little bit farther. You're pushing your effort level a little but not so hard that you kind of feel like you want to stop. And in three, two, one, we're going to walk again. We're going to walk back to our recovery spot. And remember, we're not stopping at the recovery spot. We're turning immediately and going again. So your recovery is your walk phase. Now, the reason my recovery periods were getting shorter is because I was doing mine on a little bit of a loop. Your recovery periods, if you're doing a straight out and straight back, might be a little bit longer. So for our last session now, our last repeat, we're going back to the same pace as our first one. So let's start jogging again. So this is nice and easy. And I want you to feel that this is a four or a five out of ten. 
you're working a little bit, but you could probably sustain this pace. If you feel you're huffing and puffing and you're working really hard, I want you to ease off the pace. Don't walk, just bring it to a slightly slower pace of jogging. Stay nice and tall, keep your posture and come back to a walk. That is our last set done, guys. You have officially been running for longer than you were in your last session. I hope the hips are feeling good. I hope your balance is good. And every single time you do these sets, every single time you do these sessions, you are making gains to your balance, to your proprioception, to your coordination. So even though it might feel that it's really easy, you are teaching your brain, this is how you do it. Let's keep improving. So don't think that because your incremental improvements are so small that you're still not making improvement because you are. Okay, this very last warm down set is going to be a little bit of a mobility set. So I'm standing tall, trying to get the dogs out of the way. I'm touching my heels to the front, touching them to the back, right, left, right, left. Trying to balance, trying not to fall over. So again, you can see we're internally and then externally rotating the hips, doing it to the front, doing it to the back. and swapping legs. So we do about five of those to the front, five of them to the back on each leg. Um, you can see my balance clearly on my right leg is not as good as I thought it was. Or maybe I'm just focusing on the dogs. That's the session done guys, great work. If you did today's session, share it, tag me at fionaodonnell.ie.